guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's another grocery haul day. I have some good food finds for you today. I ended up shopping at both Walmart and Trader Joe's. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you are going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. Head on over and join us there. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I did Walmart grocery pickup and I also made a trip to Trader Joe's. There were a couple things I wanted to pick up and then I really like getting my produce at Trader Joe's as well. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul. First thing I picked up was my favorite coffee creamer. This is the Funfetti. It is so good. If you love sweet vanilla birthday cake flavors, this one is absolutely delicious. I grabbed some of the Bolt House Creamy Caesar dressing. We're making a chicken Caesar pasta salad that you guys will be seeing on Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, and it called for Caesar dressing, and Walmart didn't have any light Caesar, so I ended up just going with the Bolt House Farm. Third, less fat cream cheese. This is for a recipe. A can of crushed tomatoes, also for a dinner recipe. I was completely out of eggs, and we can't be out of eggs in this house. So I grabbed an 18 pack of my very favorite eggs, the Happy Egg. I have a couple recipes this week that calls for bacon. So I picked up the big, huge pack of the Oscar Mayer Center Cut Bacon. Diesel hasn't been eating very well since his procedure. So the vet recommended chicken and rice. So I went ahead and grabbed this cheap pack of chicken for him. I don't normally eat this chicken, but I thought he's a dog. He's not going to care. So I grabbed that so that I could throw a bunch of rice and chicken in my Instant Pot for him. I also needed a pack of chicken thighs for a dinner recipe. I get tired of chicken breasts and this particular recipe called for chicken thighs so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy myself a good chicken thigh. Lots of lunch meat here for Troy's lunches. I have three quarters of a pound of deli roast beef, three quarters of a pound of deli ham, and then half of a pound of a deli dried salami. He's gonna do like that whole Subway BMT vibe with the three meats. This is a seasonal rub or seasoning at Trader Joe's and this is our all time favorite seasoning for burgers. So good on hamburgers. So I went ahead and picked another one up. That way we have it all year long. I don't know why, but diet root beer sounded really, really good, but I didn't want to get an entire case. So I went ahead and just grabbed a two liter of the zero sugar A&W. We were completely out of rice for us as well as for diesel. So for us, I grabbed the organic California Jasmine rice. This one is so incredibly delicious and super affordable at Walmart. I went ahead and picked up a couple different crackers at Trader Joe's, one brand new one and one kind of old school favorite. So I grabbed some spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip so that we could have dip and crackers or chips and dip. I love this dip. And it is two tablespoons for 30 calories. A pack of the La Bandarita carb counter tortillas. These are my favorite tortillas. And my lovely husband ate all of mine, so I had to do a restock. I also ordered rice for diesel, not anticipating a five pound bag. This is a huge, Huge, huge bag of rice, but that's okay. That way I can just cook up a ton in my Instant Pot. So I have a huge five pound bag of long grain rice. A loaf of country potato bread. This is for Troy's sandwiches for the week. My favorite little teeny tiny avocados from Trader Joe's. I love these because I can eat the entire avocado in one sitting and not have to worry about trying to save it and it not going bad. New cracker alert at Trader Joe's are these rosemary sofaglet, thin and crunchy Italian rosemary crackers. I picked these up for the dip. They sound really good and you get a ton of them for the points and calories. And I also went ahead and grabbed a box of the pita bite crackers as well. These are really, really good with that dip. I didn't know if Troy would like the rosemary ones, so I went ahead and grabbed a box of the pita. A rebuy of Troy's favorite cereal, the Special K Red Berries. I also eat this cereal, I love it. Boxes of the Yasso Sea Salt 
caramel ice cream bars per my husband's request. He actually really likes these and they're a much better option than sugar-filled bars. So I went ahead and grabbed two boxes. The produce, of course, from Trader Joe's, I have a bag of the frozen organic blueberries. This is for my meal prep that you guys will be seeing on Monday. Of course, a bag of organic lemons for my water, some romaine lettuce for Sunday's dinner recipe. One orange for a recipe, some tomatoes for Troy's lunch. He's been liking lettuce and tomatoes on the side with his sandwiches, and then he just adds them to his sandwich when he goes to eat it. So I picked those up. A couple of organic bell peppers, and then some fresh basil for a recipe, and then some fresh mint for my water. I know what you're thinking. What happened to your mint plant? Well, I got this great idea to replant it into a larger container, and then it was drawing bugs to the inside of my house for some reason, so I ended up putting it outside on my picnic table, and then it died. So for those of you that said it's hard to kill mint, I can kill pretty much anything apparently. So I am just back to buying these little packs of mints for my water. So that is everything for this week's grocery haul. Let's jump into what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep and what my meal plan is for the week. So here is this week's meal plan. This is the week of July 10th through the 16th. So today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making a chicken Caesar pasta salad. You guys will actually see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned. Monday is a one skillet sausage and peppers with rice. This just sounds easy, quick, and delicious. Tuesday night is always a leftover night. I have some ribs in my freezer from ButcherBox that I wanna eat up, so we're going to barbecue those on Thursday, or on Wednesday. Thursday is herbed balsamic chicken with vegetables. This also sounds really good. And then Friday, we always like to eat up any leftovers from earlier in the week. Here's what you'll be seeing this week for meal prep. For breakfast, I am making morning glory muffins. These are going to be so hearty and delicious. Lunch is slow cooker crack chicken. I've actually heard a lot about this recipe and how good this crack chicken is, so I'm excited to try it. And then for dessert, we are making blueberry scones. I love scones. My husband loves scones just because they're not overly sweet. So I'm going to be doing that. I don't know why it says dinner. That would be dessert is blueberry scones. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week, what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep, and of course, my dinners for the week. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it. And if you're new and you haven't clicked the little subscribe button, we'd love to have you hit the button and click the bell next to it. That way you never miss a single upload or a Saturday grocery haul. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there as well. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.